across Asia, Europe, and North America, in just about every body of fresh water, you will find the mallard duck. Mallards prefer calm, shallow sanctuaries and are thought to be the most abundant and wide-ranging duck on Earth. The habitat for these migrating mallards are in Provo, Utah. Provo has a large, shallow lake called Utah Lake, which is which in the fall is home to many hunters who line the wetlands to harvest them. Among human hunters, the mallard has many other predators such as hawks, falcons, raccoons, skunks, turtles, and other animals you will find near the wetland areas. The most prolific natural predators of adult mallards are the fox and hawks. This group of mallards, however, has outwitted most of all their predators, even the human hunters, by being on BYU, Brigham Young University, in Provo. There, there is a duck pond just south of the campus that is home to many smart ducks. The students feed them, and also being inside the city is away from the hunters in the fall. Just like for all migratory birds, however, the snow starts to fall in the north of Canada and gradually pushes the mallard southward towards the Caribbean. Mallards migrate in large groups called flocks. The mallard is a medium-sized waterfowl species, although it is often slightly heavier than most other ducks. It is 50 to 65 centimeters long and has a wingspan of 81 to 98 centimeters. The bill of the male is a yellowish-orange tip with black, while that of the female is generally darker, ranging from black to spotted orange. The male mallard, or drake, has a glossy green head and white ring, which defines the head from the purple-brown breast, gray-brown wings, and gray belly. The back of the male is black, with the dark tail having white border. The bill of the male is yellowish-orange, tipped with black, while that of the female is generally darker, ranging from black to spotted orange. The female mallard is mainly spotted, very dark brown, a color that is shared by most female ducks. Both the male and the female mallards have purple-blue speculum feathers etched with white. Both the drake and female have an oily coat of feathers that have down which causes the water to repel right off of them and keep them warm. They are known to also dive at times in search of food or to hide from danger, but are not like the coots, which are the more of a diving waterfowl species. Their feet are webbed for optimal surface area to propel them through the water. A noisy species. The male has a nasal call and a high pitched whistle, while the female has a deeper quack associated with ducks. Mallards have a flexible genetic code which gives them a large interbreeding capability. The mutations in the genes that decide the plumage color have commonly created a variety of hybrids such as the brewer ducks, which is a combination of the gadwell and mallard. The majority of the mallard's diet seems to be made up of beetles, flies, dragonflies, crustaceans, worms, many varieties of seeds and plants and roots. It usually feeds by dabbling for plant foods or grazing. It usually nests on a riverbank but not always near water. Mallards are thought to be the most abundant duck on earth.